Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Homesick by Dua Lipa. So here we go, give you a preview of the two sections you're going to learn, okay, it's the chorus and the post-chorus section, okay, both sections I've played a few times each, okay, here we go, give you a preview, okay, here we go. section the post chorus section that most of goes like this okay uh, here we go give you a previous wall okay okay just like that okay pretty simple stuff so both sections repeat itself so here we go let's learn the first section first okay we'll break up the first section into two parts okay here we go first part of this first section goes like this right starts on the G flat up here so middle C go up an octave C G flat here so it goes four G flats one two three four up to A flat G flat F and then three more F's one two three G flat F that's it for the right hand for this first part okay one more time it goes like this goes Four G flats, one, two, three, four, A flat, G flat, F, 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 G flat, F. And that's it for the right hand for this first part. Once you get the right hand there, left hand, two chords, the two chords are G flat major, so fully black note chord, G flat, B flat, D flat, and second chord is B flat minor, which is B flat, D flat, F. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so G flat major followed by B flat minor, the turn together goes like this, G flat and G flat major together. F, B flat minor by itself. Like that, okay? One more time, it goes like this, goes together. Here. Like that. Moving on to the second part of this first section, right hand continues, goes E flat down to B flat, A flat, B flat, A flat, B flat. That's it for the second part for the right hand, pretty simple stuff. One more time, it goes E flat, B flat, A flat, B flat, A flat, B flat. That's it for the right hand for the second part. Once you get the right hand there, left hand, two chords. The two chords are E flat minor, fully black note chord, E flat, G flat, B flat. And second chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so E flat minor and B major. Two hands together goes like this, E flat and E flat minor together. After B flat, B major by itself, like that. One more time, so it goes like this, so it goes together. Here. Okay. So, back to back, the two parts we've learned will be played like this, okay? And just repeat this part, okay? You can repeat it for two times, three times, whatever, okay? It goes like this. And you just repeat it. And yeah, most of the time you actually play it for the third time, and then you can hear sometimes in the song it's actually played for four times. So it really depends which part of the song you're up to, and it doesn't really matter. You can repeat it as many times as you want. Okay, but anyways, the post chorus section follows that, okay? Here we go, we can learn this in one go because it's pretty easy. Okay, it's very short. It goes goes D flat, D flat, E flat, G flat, E flat down to G flat, and then B flat twice. That's it for the right hand for this section. One more time, it goes like this, it goes D flat, D flat, E flat, G flat, E flat down to G flat, and then two B flats. That's it for the right hand. Once you get the right hand there, left hand, two chords, two chords of B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp, and then the second chord is first inversion of G flat major, which is B flat, D flat, G flat. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so B major and first inversion on G flat major, the two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts, G flat and B major together. Next chord by itself, like that. And one more time, together, here, like that. Okay, as I said before, sometimes it's played twice here, up and, and then another place of a song is played for three times, so really up to you how many times you want to play. Okay, so yeah, anyways, so that's pretty much it. So you just play the uh, first section followed by the second section that we learned in this lesson back to back, like that. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So once you learn all the melody and chords, practice it very well, all the notes, all the rhythm is very good, then you can start to think of other improvisations and decoration patterns you can put into it. So yeah, you can do like left hand, like octave and arpeggio patterns, right hand you can harmonize based on those chords too. So you can do something like this, check it out. So you're like...
have fun with it, it's pretty awesome, okay? Very, very relaxing um, tune to play with, okay? But anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally, I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from. So most likely, you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. But anyway, also check out my other Dua Lipa piano covers and tutorials. There are many of them, pretty awesome artists. Okay, also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. So make sure to check that out, enjoy your time around my channel, and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.